worthy of the praise. I'm so glad he gave us another day to praise him here in Cedar Grove. Thank you, thank you, God. We just can't praise you enough, Lord Jesus. Thank you for waking us up one more time, Lord Jesus. Thank you for bringing us to church safe and sound, Lord Jesus. Just thank you for being in the midst, Lord Jesus. And we just, just glad you're here. We just glad you are in our life. We just want to praise you. And thank you and be grateful for all what you have brought us through, Lord.
Amen. And growing up, I thought 2020 is way off in the distant future. Now it's here. Amen. So much is so much has transpired. So many things have occurred on the pathway getting here. Uh, but like the butterfly, you got out of that cocoon. Amen. Sometimes you got to struggle to get out. Amen. If it, it just doesn't open up that cocoon, that butterfly's in there, uh, metamorphosizing, and then all of a sudden he, he breaks out the cocoon and stretches his feathers or his wings and, 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 and starts flapping them and, and gets dry and then he starts flying. Well, some of y'all get ready to fly. We're thankful for God and each one of you being here on this first Sunday of a brand new year. Amen. Amen. So we want to make sure we uh, keep in contact with our announcements. Also, in the fourth Sunday of the month, uh, the 26th Family and Friends Day. And now, each one ought to tell one and then each one ought to bring one. Amen. Each one tell one, and then each one bring one, and then we'll have a very, very, very nice uh, crowd here on that Sunday. Anybody got any friends? You only get one good one. You get a whole lot of associates. You only get one good friend. So if you get, if you got one good friend, tell that good friend. And then uh, send an email or text message to, to the rest of the associates that I need you here on that Sunday. Yeah. Don't wait till the Sunday to do it. Start now. So, you know, some folks, you got to work on them in advance. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, because you, you tell them that Sunday, oh, I would have come, but if you didn't tell me early enough. So start early and eliminate all yeah. those excuses. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we're looking for God to do great and marvelous things in, in 2020 meeting with uh, our uh, media and uh, sound and our technician on this morning, we get ready to do some some real uh, creative things. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to do some creative things. We want to enhance the visibility of this ministry and get up uh, to the 2020, get up in the 20th century, yeah. 21st century. Yeah. Yeah. And so that way you can. Uh, tell your friends if they don't come, they can stream live. If they, uh, uh, if they uh, make an excuses about they, they would give, but they couldn't get down there. We gonna make it available to them give online. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So uh, let us just be prepared and uh, let us uh, look to God and ask God for His direction yes. as yes. we can continue to grow. Uh, don't be surprised. There are people that know in the past by it when I'm talking to people and they say, well, where, uh, what church you go to? I said, see the grove. He said, oh, I know where that is. I said, well, then I come to your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have not because you ask me. Yeah. So, so when people ask questions, I'm telling them. Amen. So uh, uh, Amen. And then I got their numbers, so now I'm going to start bugging them. Amen. Amen. I'm going to start saying, you said it. <laughs> you said it. So I'm waiting for you to show up. And then when you show up, God will definitely show out. Amen. Yeah. Let's give our call a hand this morning. So glad to see you today. Here this morning. God bless you. Amen. The Lord blessed her and gave her and her house in her right place. Brother Josh, how are you feeling this morning? I'm alright. Alright, he had a, a slight accident, but God has blessed him. He's here. Amen. 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 He had dedicated me. Sometimes when you're on the field, you may get wounded. You still yeah. got to keep on pressing on and keep on fighting. Yeah. Amen. You know, you say you're a soldier in the army of the Lord. We, Sing that song, we get happy and we want to shout and dance. And then the first problem coming out, life, then we stay home. And the soldiers don't get that kind of opportunity. Just met Brother Deshaun, he's on his way where well, he should be in, in, in Georgia now. And I told him the other day, when you're in the army, you know, you have lost your rights. You got to get up. 
When they tell you to get up, you got to march. When they tell you to march, you got to run. When they tell you to run, you got to lost your civilian privileges. And that's the same thing in the army of the Lord. When you belong to him, you got to do what the Lord tells you to do. Get up every, you can get up five days out of the week to get up and hit that clock for, for uh, work, but it always seems to be a struggle on Sunday morning. The enemy, amen, amen. enemy makes that bed feel so comfortable. Oh, yes. And the covers get just as cozy. And, and, and you just say, well, if I could just lay here five more minutes. <laughs> I know I ain't the only one. Y'all act like I'm the only one. Five to turn to ten, and excuse me, that snooze button to turn to fifteen. Now it's up. You were getting up in a rush. I couldn't get up in a But you don't get up in a rush to get down there at that job. You, you run and you get everybody up in the house. Making the noise and turning on lights and slamming doors and can't find the shoe that you wanted to wear. Got the iron so but you thought you had and it ain't working this morning and you gotta get up something else. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's be kinder and, and, and more, more uh, loving toward the Lord. And, 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 he made it all possible so we can be on time. And, uh, this time we're gonna move into our offering. Amen. Moving into our offering. Don't get quiet now. Let's move into our offering. Our offering is a blessing. Blessing to be able to give. It's more blessing to give than it is to receive. And you can't be God given no matter how hard you try. God blessed you when you didn't think He was going to make it through. You made it. And then sometimes it got tight, but God made it all right. Amen. Amen. Uh oh. Purses and everything hit now. Lord, it must be a lot of money in that bag. Let's prepare ourselves for giving. Uh, we do have a budget, and we want to be very uh, conscious after looking over with the finance committee some of the things that we have to do in order to make sure that we keep uh, the, not only the lights on, but we want to be able to come in without a hassle and feeling and feeling burden. I know people hate to talk about money, but money is a part of our giving and our worship. Jesus was on a campaign and uh, needed some money and he told the man and he told one of the disciples to go down to the seashore and get the money out of the fish's mouth. You don't know where that money is coming from but you just got to be available and willing to go get it. Sometimes it's right there in the fish's mouth. And we have to be prepared uh, to go and to be able to be a blessing to the house of the Lord. Uh, they asked Jesus on an occasion about giving, and he said, Render the season things that are season to God and things that are God. That's right. So we have to be uh, willing to give unto God as he has given unto us. All right, with your offering lifted toward heaven to be prepared, ushers have passed out of envelopes. Thank you so very much. Father, in Jesus' name, we do thank you for each gift and given. Now, we ask that you take it, bless it, break it, and multiply it for the upbuilder of thy kingdom. Return some 40, 60, and 100 fold. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. So men give unto our bosom. In any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. In Jesus' name, you're in the hands of the usher. Give us some good walking, singing.
The consequences of looking back. Yes, yes. New Testament writer wrote and said, Wherefore, getting those things which are behind mm -hmm. and reaching forward, I press toward the mark, the prize of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. He makes it clear. He says, forgetting mm -mm. those things which are, thank you, somebody's back there helping me, mm. behind. Yeah. <laughs> forgetting those things which are behind. Yeah. They're, they're behind. But I'm looking forward. I'm okay. pressing toward the mark, the prize, high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. The writer here gives us a very interesting historical fact and causes us to have to categorically look within ourselves and take retrospect as to what in the world and how and why did this happen to this woman? Mm. It's very interesting Sorry. and that much is known about her or her background, uh, just as she was the niece, uh, the wife of Lot, the niece of uh, Abram mm -hmm. and Sarah. Uh, it appears from the Holy Writ that she has no name. Isn't that interesting? She has no name. Hallelujah. Don't know her name. I heard one minister said since she has no name, we'll call her Miss Lottie. <laughs> uh, being that she was Lot's wife. She came apparently from Egypt because she came out of Egypt with Sarah, who had married Abraham. He was Abram before Abraham. So it makes it very clear uh, some of the consequences and some of the things that happened that would lead us to this part of her shortened life. She comes from Egypt. Egypt was a world power and empire. Yeah. Egypt had some of the most productive and creative minds. Some mm -hmm. most innovative minds. It was a cultural center yes, sir. that had mathematical geniuses, great art, Flowing fountains, gardens, aqueducts, <laughs> political and military power. My, my. And now we find her <coughs> in a city called Sodom and Gomorrah. <coughs> Sodom and Gomorrah was a very interesting city to say the least. Amen, amen. It was a city full of debauchery lifestyle or alternative lifestyles. It was a vile and a wicked city. Mm -hmm. And here this woman finds herself in this city. The interesting fact is prior to getting there, she comes from Egypt. She marries Lot nephew Abraham. But now she's a sojourner. She's traveling from place to place following her husband. She's living a life almost of a vagabond. She was like a gypsy. You know a gypsy is here for a little while and there and then there and then somewhere else. They never have a a real stationary or forwarding address. They all over the place. <clears throat> Even to the point where they were almost homeless because they only pitched tents. <clears throat> staying there only long enough to get direction to go to the next location. Right. So I'm trying to get you to understand mm -hmm. her predicament coming from a culture of stability, right. moving into a place of instability, 
now to a place that you might not really have wanted to be. Amen. But there is some level of stability and a place she can call home. All right. Now, she's built her own little world. Mm. She's got her own little world now. Miss, Miss Lottie is now uh, not poor because her husband, Lot, had acquired and become rich through his uncle. All right. So she's in the city now. She's probably not in, 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 in a dump. She's probably in a nice house. Mm -hmm. She fixed it up. She got drapes, tapestries. She got furniture everywhere. She got vases and flowers. And, and she got silk. She got downy pillows. And everything that she ever wanted now in a place she can call home. All right, she got clothes. She probably got uh, a, a built-in seamstress mm -hmm. come to take her measurements and, and decor her out. Make her look like the talk of the town. Now, she's become a social and society elite. Amen, uh, amen. Because everybody knew that Lot had some money. Amen, amen. But she's in a city that's wicked. Wicked. City that's vile and corrupt. My God. And it's very important, brothers and sisters, that you never get too comfortable in a bad situation. She's now kind of torn, but she's comfortable. She's comfortable, but she's torn, and she's torn, but she's comfortable because she's in a place she can call home. Amen, amen. But the wickedness of that city, wickedness, and all sinfulness of that city. God had his hands on Lot and his life. And he sent the angel to the house and told him it was time for y'all to leave here. God is getting ready to destroy this city and he wants you all to flee to the plain. God had already forewarned and told Abraham, I'm going to destroy the wickedness of this city. Right, Come right. up before me. It's a stench in my nostril. God is talking to Abraham because Lot himself had got caught up yeah, in yeah. the city life. Yeah, yeah. He's a city swinger now. Mm -hmm. He's the hippest man in town. He's the, he's the, the, uh, the cat's meow and the dog's bow wow when he walks. Mr. Lot is in town. Here he is. He's dressed to the nine. He's got the nicest chair. He's got a, a beautiful horse. But he's in a wicked city. And God told Abraham, I'm getting out. I'm getting ready to do something yeah, city because I'm tired of it. They, they don't acknowledge me. They don't worship me. They, they, they are doing corruptible things. And, and, and Abraham goes before and says, Lord, if, if, would you spare the city? Yeah, yeah. If I can find 50 righteous people. That, you know, that's, that, 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 that's very interesting. It's a low number, but the people were living so low that he couldn't even find 50. He said, Lot, Abraham, if you find 50 people oh, in this city, yeah. two cities, yeah, yeah. If you find 50 people, I'll spare the city. He couldn't find 50 people to spare the city. He said, Lord, well, wait a minute. If, 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 I can, if, if, if I can find 40 people, hallelujah, hallelujah. would you spare the city? And he said, if you find 40, I won't destroy the city. He got down and he said, uh, well, I, I can't find 40, but if I can find 20 people. Hallelujah. What a shame that you got two cities so corrupt that you couldn't find yeah. 20 people. Yeah. And then the God got with us and we're waiting to the Lord. Yeah. You're gracious, you're yeah. merciful, God. Yeah. If I can find 10, yeah. would you spare the city? Yeah. And in two cities, yeah. Yeah. two major 
metropolitan centers. There was not 10 righteous people that could save those cities. Yes, it's, it's pretty bad when in your household you can't find one person that's righteous. He said, no, can't find 10. He said, I'll tell you what. I'm sending some angels. I need y'all to get them out of here. All right, all right. Angels came. And it was so interesting. I found this to be so interesting. When the angel came. What about it, doctor? Miss <laughs> Lottie. Still didn't want to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She didn't want to leave. And God knew that she didn't want to go to the point where the angels that were sent to save her family took her by the hand. Yes, yes, yes. To lead him out. You know, some folk, I don't care what you do, you got to, you got to, you got to push him. You got to pry him, pry him, pump him, snatch him, to get out of the way of harm. Grab her by the hand and lead her out of a bad situation. She had gotten so caught up in her things that her things was more important than her life. Grabbed him by the hand. Bible said was leading them out. And in the process of leading them out, she turned and looked back. There was some very explicit instructions in order for them to get out. Number one, don't wait till midnight. Get up early in the morning. Hallelujah. When the sun rises, because you need some sunlight to lead you out of darkness. I wish I had a witness to that. Second, and most important, when you get out of the city, don't look back. Sometimes, God has sent us some people yes, yes. at the right time of our lives. Yes, yes, yes. He tried to grab you by the hand, but yes. you were so stuck on yes. where you were that you couldn't yes. see yes. the light yes. in front of you. Sometimes God places people in your life yes. to lead you out That's right. of your fault but you're too evil and too wicked and too caught up in your mess that you'd rather stay in your former lifestyle. You'd rather get comfortable in what you used to do, shaking your behind and twisting and jerking and hopping and popping like you once did. Now you done got too old to hop up. If you hop too much, you might drop, but you still want to live where you used to live. And God said, I'm trying to show you and take you to a better place. Yes, yes, yes. I've sent you, I've sent you somebody to yes. take you by the hand. Yes. Like the songwriter said, precious Lord, yes. take my hand, yes. lead me on, yes. and let me stand. I'm tired. Yes. Yes. And I'm weak. And I'm warm, but through the storm yeah, and through the light, yeah. lead me on yeah. to the light. Precious Lord, yeah. take my hand yeah. and lead me on. Yeah. Well, I got to go because we got some other things to do, but I want to leave you with a thought because Miss Lottie didn't 
take the instructions too well. And she got out of the city, but the city never got out of her. And because the city never got out of her, she left physically, but her mind stayed in Sodom and Gomorrah. And while she was on her way, it's a sad, 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 sad story to be out of something, but you still won't be back in it. Some of us have been in bad relationships, and you're still looking back wondering what Johnny's doing. Johnny ain't worried about you, baby. He's moved on to another location. about instead of going on and looking and seeing that maybe God's got something better ahead. I never understood how there are so much people, or many people, in this day and time that are committing suicide behind some old knucklehead. Maybe he didn't want you in the first place. And he didn't want you then, and he don't want you now. He only wanted what you can provide for him. There are some men, Lord God, that have not been able to let old long tall Sally go. Long tall Sally, she ain't slowed her mustang down yet. She's still driving around destroying men. The old locusts hopping from limb to limb. 
what you gonna do about him? And God said, I'm gonna pick him up. And I'm gonna clean him up. And I'm gonna send him back out to do my will. And that's why I said, when Jesus is our intercessor, he stands between us and God. And so when God looks at us through the blood of Jesus, he says, case dismissed.